huge coming up, which is a documentary about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Did he do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Is, I, I know he did you, it. You've been heavy on social no, he media did it. talking he did about it. it. He did it. And I'm the only one that's been vocal about this long before it actually. Oh, you've been saying this for, for a long time, man. And then no one was, you know, they're just, why is he saying this? And now it's coming out like crazy. But I also out. didn't participate. I also didn't go to these parties. Yeah. So a lot of the celebrity coaches don't understand anything is because they participate. So. And 50 Cent sells doc, uh, Diddy Doc to Netflix, ladies and Hold on to your wigs, girl, because 50 Cent is about to set the record straight on this whole Diddy situation. Rumor has it he's working on a Netflix documentary that's ready to spill all the tea on Diddy's alleged wrongdoings. We're talking major bombshells. And speaking of drama, did you see Diddy crying uncontrollably? You have to wonder if he's nervous about what's about to come to light. The timing couldn't be more suspect. This isn't just another celebrity feud, it could potentially ruin a career and tarnish a reputation that's been built over decades. If this documentary drops, it could completely shake up the hip on Diddy, you know, that are resurfacing, but an actual documentary, and I don't know if this gonna be like something with 50 Cent voice narrating, I, I don't know, but you know it's gonna be bad. I would advise everybody to tune in who really don't really understand and what, you know, how far back this goes with Diddy for when people were speaking out earlier on him. I know it's gonna have stuff on Tupac, Biggie, all that, but we are gonna check this video out here, man. You know, 50 Cent be trolling, but this is, this is the ultimate right here, top tier. Let's jump right into it. Days after a damning surveillance video showed Diddy abusing his ex, a documentary is closer to becoming a reality. Now let's bring in TMC's Michael Babcock. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, we're doing all right. So tell us what's going on with this. We understand rapper 50 Cent has been shopping this around. Shopping it yeah, around. Yeah, and you know what? I think a lot of people thought that 50 was just trolling, and if anyone follows 50 on Twitter or Instagram, you know, he's no stranger to that. He, he definitely, you know, engages in trolling and, and makes a lot of jokes. So when he had, uh, you know, repeatedly taken shot after shot after shot at Diddy and then said, hey, I'm working on a documentary, I think a lot of people thought that he was just joking around. It turns out he's not. So this is actually a, a real project that's being made under his uh, G Unit a movie oh, and TV studio. Man. And he's made a bunch of really successful projects uh, uh, under that banner. They were uh, actually selling it around to different uh, streaming, you know, uh, organizations, including Netflix. Netflix ultimately had the most money, placed the winning bid, and at some point here in the future, we don't know exactly when, but this is actually going to be something that airs on Netflix. So, and think about this: everything hasn't even came out yet. So I'm just, I'm just wondering. They're probably going to wait to see. If he, I, I'm, I'm guessing the wait to see if he goes to jail or what, because I, I feel like they need more, uh, not not more evidence, but just you know, with the whole raid and stuff. I'm just wondering what else is going to come out that they're going to add to that. Yeah, it, it, there's no way, no way, this dude is coming back from this. Fifty Cent. Many people may not know. I mean, the, the two of them have, have had beef for decades. 50 Cent has kept his foot yeah. on Diddy's neck for decades. Foot on his uh, neck. Absolutely. Uh, it, you know, it, look, they, they, they you know, once worked together a long time ago. They're not friends now. They, they don't like each other. And, and yeah, 50 has taken every shot, especially when Diddy has been down. Diddy really, you know, is not in a position right now to fire back at 50 Cent. So, yeah, he's, he's taken a lot of abuse. And I don't know that anyone feels sorry for P. Diddy right now. To yeah, be I don't think so either, and it's certainly not no. going to end anytime soon. You're right about that. Man, it's probably, that's probably going to be one of the most watched, because like, I'm just, I'm just thinking about all the information that they're going to gather and how many people are going to be tied into this. How many people right now are kind of just like, Oh no, like, cause 50 be getting on everybody when he be trolling. So it's like, I know a lot of people are, are probably just shaking in their boots right now. Um, 
I, I just think that when Diddy approached 50 with with the stuff that he says, like, I want to take you shopping and all that, you know, 50 was like, wait, hold on. So, <laughs> and some guys, he probably take, took shopping before, you know? And, and <laughs> they, at the beginning, they probably thought it was Diddy doing something nice until they got a, like a pop landscape. We're all here for the fallout. Interview. You might think this is just another rap feud, but trust me, it runs much deeper. What if I told you that 50 Cent and Diddy were once tight? That's right. These two had a friendship before the drama kicked off. So what turned these former allies into bitter rivals? Let's rewind a bit. 50 Cent and Diddy were once on the same wavelength. They even collaborated on tracks, and fans loved their vibe, especially with the I Get Money, Forbes 123 remix. But things soared over time. Fast forward to today, and 50 has been going after Diddy more fiercely than a summer storm. His social media is flooded with not-so-friendly jabs, and it's clear he's not holding back. Now here's where it gets juicy. 50 is dropping subtle hints about some serious tea, but is keeping the details close to the vest for his upcoming Netflix documentary. This feud is escalating to a whole new level. No more just petty diss tracks or shady tweets. We're talking about explosive revelations that could shatter careers and reputations. Rumor has it that 50 might have some shocking evidence that could leave Diddy sweating more than a preacher in a heatwave. And let's not ignore the timing. Diddy was recently spotted in tears. Coincid well, uh, Diddy was calling some other dude daddy and telling Fabulous, like, yo, why don't you party with me? And, you know, trying to get Fabulous to party with him. You know, uh, what do you think about these these like little looks into the past about how Diddy was acting. I see a lot of uh, I, I would call epics. These little commercials, uh, these little cartoon things. South Park uh, that popped up with the devil talking about I don't want to do it if Diddy did it. Did you ever see that on South Park? I haven't seen that one yet. No. Yeah, 50 ended up posting it, but I'm I'm a South Park fan, so. I already knew about that one, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, that was on, uh, was that on South Park? Yeah, that was on South, that was on South Park. Yeah, South Park. Yeah, so, so, so I'm like, I'm a South Park fan, so I'm, I'm looking at that, so, and I say that this guy could have been down, went down in history as one of the greatest producers that put together some of the greatest music in the 90s and having the arguably one of the, the top greatest rappers in hip hop in this camp. For the people to make him the laughing stock of hip hop, the laughing stock, stock of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is one of the greatest tragedies of our time. It's crazy what he what he has become to the media. Can you separate his music from his personal life? You know the man through his music. So you can't separate his personal life from the music. Why do you think he was offering to take 50 cents shopping? I can't really, I, I can't really offer that, bro. I, I, I can't really answer that. I, I, I don't know why, but just on some sucker shit, probably. You know what I'm saying, trying to play 50. Mm. You know 50, come on, bro. 50 just, 50 was rich at the time. 50 used to do music for him. Why he never asked him then, when he was doing music for him? You understand? 
just talking shit, want to have something to say. No confidence. In this industry, nothing happens by chance. Could it be that Diddy already knows what's coming his way in this documentary? The plot thickens. Interview. I know what you're thinking. Why is 50 Cent suddenly targeting Diddy after all this time? That's the million dollar question. Some folks are speculating it's all about money, while others whisper about old grudges resurfacing. Whatever the motive, it's clear that 50 isn't pulling any punches. This feud has evolved beyond just two rappers trading insults. It's now a battle for power, reputation, and possibly even some long buried secrets. 50 Cent has a reputation for being ruthless with his rivals. And it looks like Diddy- Mount Vernon, New York City, Mount Vernon, and Miami, all that is the same, bruh. Every, nobody wants to be near him. Nobody wants to touch what he touched, be where he at. You understand? It, it, it's crazy, bruh, how his fall from grace, which was never uh, uh, from grace. It's just like the devil just kicked him out of hell. Because you can't, he was never in nothing graceful and did anything graceful. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you say about, okay, he did the music, he did, he had the bad boy, bad boy legacy and everything like that, man. But, you know, A few albums, a few people, you know, made to be famous. But they not here to tell a story. Black Rob, Biggie, Craig Mack. They not here to tell a story, bro. And now you got everybody telling his story. Yeah, and I know 50, he did a recent interview with U.S. Weekly saying that the reason why rappers are quiet about, you know, Diddy's situation is because they been to his parties and they don't know what got caught on tape. Bruh, those people who was caught at Diddy's party did not know that he had 250 tape recorders in that house. That's a big house. But he had 250 tape recorders in that house that they took, that the feds found. So now with them finding all that and you being at a Diddy party, you know you may have done something that was caught on one of those tapes. You just better pray to God that they don't recognize you. Those people who know that they did something no, they're not going to speak out. They're not going to say nothing. What part of the game is that? They are not going to come forward and tell on themselves. No, nah, not at all. Ice Cube, he said it himself, bro. He said that Diddy's been targeted because of what he said about those folks and those people. Now, the people who was on those tapes may feel like Diddy might be targeting them. Because if he's asked about who is this, who is that, and he's under oath with the federal government, he got to tell them. He's not going to plead the fifth. Yeah, I know that got to be a terrible feeling, man. You know, you know you did something wrong at Diddy Party, and you hoping and praying that it's not caught on tape. But they don't think they did nothing wrong. Diddy is in his crosshairs now. The hip-hop community is buzzing, eagerly anticipating the explosive revelations 50 will unveil in his documentary. Will it be enough to topple one of the biggest names in the industry, or is this just a clever ruse? When this documentary drops, it's guaranteed to be the talk of the town. Interview. Girl, let me spill the tea. The revelations coming our way are going to be hotter than a summer day in Atlanta. But here's the real kicker. While we've all heard whispers about Diddy in the past, this time feels different. 
50 Cent is serious, and you can see that look in his eye like he's gearing up to drop a bombshell that could shake the entire industry. We're not just talking about shady business deals or contract squabbles. This is next-level drama. What if this documentary is merely the tip of the iceberg? The streets are alive with chatter about lawsuits, business disputes, and some seriously questionable dealings. Is Diddy's empire built on quicksand? If it all comes crashing down, who else could be swept away with him? You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's been a cloud of smoke surrounding Diddy for years. Remember the murmurs about how he treats his art. Coming to reality. Now let's bring in TMC's Michael Babcock. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, we're doing all right. So tell us what's going on with this. We understand rapper 50 Cent has been shopping this around. Yeah, and you know what? I think a lot of people thought that 50 was just trolling, and if anyone follows 50 on Twitter or Instagram, you know, he's no stranger to that. He, he definitely, you know, engages in trolling and, and makes a lot of jokes. So when he had, uh, you know, repeatedly taken shot after shot after shot at Diddy and then said, hey, I'm working on a documentary, I think a lot of people thought that he was just joking around. It turns out he's not. So this is actually a, a real project that's being made under his uh, G-Unit movie and TV studio, and he's made a bunch of really successful projects uh, uh, under that banner. They were uh, actually selling it around to different uh, streaming you know, uh, organizations, including Netflix. Netflix ultimately had the most money, placed the winning bid, and at some point here in the future, we don't know exactly when, but this is actually going to be something that airs on Netflix. So many people may not know, I mean, the two of them have, have had beef for decades. 50 Cent has kept his foot yeah. on Diddy's neck for decades. A absolutely. Uh, you know, it. Like they 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 you know, once worked together a long time ago. They're not friends now. They they don't like each other. And, and yeah, Fifty has taken every shot, especially when Diddy has been down. Diddy really, you know, is not in a position right now to fire back at Fifty Cent. So yeah, he's he's taken a lot of abuse, and I don't know that anyone feels sorry for this him. or the questions regarding the source of all that cash. Well, Fifty might be about to turn those whispers into full-on shouts. Now, here's where it gets truly juicy. Word on the street is that 50 has some receipts, and not just any receipts. We're talking about the kind that could leave Diddy sweating more than a sinner in church. There are serious allegations brewing that could completely reshape on the evidence that the, the prosecutor presented that the judge was going to allow him to be bonded out on the first get-go. Now, if he comes up with some more hearings, he might be released. But based on the evidence, they've been following him, bro. They've been tapping his phone, been having people watch him. You understand? You, um, he been coming back and forth from New York, and he don't, he don't usually be coming back in New York. And somebody was telling me that, yo, listen here, yo, he trying to get witnesses. Remember when they released that first thing of Cassie? And I said that Diddy was trying to contact uh, uh, people for character witnesses, people for um, uh, who he had problems with before and whatever like that, and trying to talk to them in the whole nine yards. That's when they dropped that thing with Cassie. The, uh, the Homeland Security had some agency or whatever like that that deals with that, dropped that thing on Cassie to show everybody, oh, y'all want to help him? Y'all, this, this is what y'all want to help? This is who y'all want to you know, say that he ain't never did nothing. This is what you want to put your brand on? And everybody start backing up from him. Everybody was talking about, yo, man, Cassie was a gold digger. Cassie was this, that, and the third. She loved it in the whole nine yards. And then when they seen that, all his friends just, or so-called friends, went away. So him not having a bond is not surprising. Yeah, and he offered them 50 million, and they still denied his bond. He should have waited to see what they was going to offer. Because <laughs> if he got 50 million to get him and offer that, then they think like, yo, that's too little of a money. And you write about Diddy Phone being tough because the news came out that his former being made from Dirty Money, she called the other group member done 58 times trying to get her to stop the lawsuit against Diddy. That he ain't, she ain't the only one he was trying to get in contact with. You understand? He sent somebody I threw somebody else to try to get in contact with me, telling me enough is enough. Oh, okay. 
You tell, you, you tell Big Mama that enough is enough. You can't tell Wolf Mama enough is enough. You tell D Ferg Mama enough is enough. You understand? You tell all those people who supported you and they survivors, enough is enough. Our understanding of the bad boy himself. Some speculate that 50's doc might delve into Diddy's personal life. And I'm not just talking about who he dates or the parties he throws. We're talking about some dark truths he's been trying to keep under wraps for far too long. Interview. I know what you're thinking. Diddy has been in the game for decades. Surely all his dirty laundry has been aired by now. But hold on, it seems we may not have seen anything yet. And let's not forget those recent lawsuits he's been trying to keep under wraps. Rumor has it they could be tied to what 50 Cent is about to expose. And we're talking serious allegations here. Ones that could make or break careers. But here's the kicker that has everyone on edge. If what 50 is... ...call from Kirk Burroughs. And Kirk Burroughs, and I ain't gonna even get this guy no, 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 no play. Not Kirk Burroughs. But one of the puff dudes that I know that's real close to him said, Kirk told me, yo, he want to reach out to you, Gene. He want to he wanna speak to you. I said, speak to me for what? What do you want to speak to me for? If he's trying to speak to me, it's for Puff. Point blank. I know the dude. I know how close he is to Puff. He's been with Puff from day one. So he ain't got nothing to say to me, bro. But Kirk Bro did say to me that the dude said enough is enough. When did when do it becomes enough? Yo, because bro, listen, I didn't be I didn't ask to be put in this situation. You understand? And a lot of people ain't gonna understand this. Because a lot of people wouldn't give up what I've given up to be in this situation. You understand? My whole thing about it is, when you lean on right, you ain't gonna never turn to wrong. And my whole thing about it is, is that Puff wasn't right what he did to people around us, man. He wasn't right what he did to people around us. Him being hard headed not listening and not telling the truth and constantly lying cost a lot of people their lives, man. It cost a lot of people their lives. I want him to understand when I told him, if we don't do something to these doors, people gonna die tonight. And forget, and I want to say F what other people say, everybody know I told them that. Our whole crew know I told them that. From Slick to Nord, Bunny, Big Boy, Eddie, all the people that was with us that night know I told them that. Nine people end up dead. Everybody know I told him. Not everybody, but Paul was there. D-Rock, the whole, some of the bad boy street teams. If we go to this party tonight, somebody gonna die. I got intel from two top gangsters. From a dude rolling with jealousy. I got intel, bro, we go to the party, somebody gonna die. Big's music, I hate to hear it. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know what I did. I know what I said. They know what I said. So it don't hurt me. It's a it, it, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a feeling that you get when you know something didn't have to happen that day. And I was not never no play 
I'm I'm playing with people. I'm I'm I, you know I am I joke and I I tease. I talk about you and everything like that. But if I come to the table, something which that's real, respect that. And then it became a part where is that the respect was gone. Any 